Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and we're going to learn this classic Smashing Pumpkins song right now. Um, I think it's a really cool song, actually. Uh, also, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel and, of course, clicking that bell notification. And if you're trying to, you know, just get deeper into, like, learning guitar, like, really getting into it, I've got some free courses at my website, so check the links down there, and I really appreciate all that extra uh, help and support, so thank you. All right, let's break it down. All right, so we're going to play an E minor 7. And you can play, this is actually a nice E minor 7 where you're playing the third on the B, third on the high E like a G chord, but you're playing E minor with it. So it's an E minor 7. And check it out. You know, you can just give a... And then he's doing little down chugs. So, down, down, down. Uh, sorry, on the E minor. Down, 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 chug, 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 chug. And you can do that too on that chord. So, So there's accents basically. Shakada, sha, shakada, sha, walk down, shakada, and then underneath that, cha 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 cha. So then we're going G G, then just that second fret on the E string while we're holding those. You can call that D sus over F sharp, which is pretty fancy, pretty fancy name, but easy to play. So E minor, C add nine is what this is called. Then you move it to G, so C add nine, then move it to G, G F sharp e minor. And when there's those, uh, like, gong bells, dun da da you could hit those sometimes, like, instead of, you can emphasize, like, it's, when he's saying, burn, uh, just the rhythm of that walk down can change with the gongs, so... So there's a little transition uh, out of that first verse into the chorus. So if you look at the last E minor, C, G, 2, 3, 4, D, 2, 3, 4. So it goes to one measure of D, but you, you can keep your pinky down. But just make sure you're really getting that, that D power chord in there with it. And so it's one measure, one, two, three, four. Then we go to C add nine for two measures. Then the chorus starts, but the chorus starts on that same C add nine. So from that E minor, G, D, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, chorus. All right, so now the chorus, really the chords are easy, but the arrangement has a couple little things to just look out for. So we have C add nine to E minor to the D sus, then back to the C add nine. 
and it holds on that CAD9, and then the next part starts over again on the CAD9. So in other words, we're going to have some moments where we hold on the C9 longer than any of the other chords, um, but then that changes at the end of the chorus. So I'll just show you what I mean. So C, 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 D minor, D sus, then the C, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. C, 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 two, E minor, then the D sus, back to C add nine. Starts three. Da, 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 minor. Then the D sus. Back C add nine. But he's singing now. Da, 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 e minor. D. E minor. D. Then the C add nine. Two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Second verse. there's one final section that's kind of like the outro of the song and you just play that D sus to the E minor then the C at nine That should do it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again uh, for the support. If you haven't yet, once again, I appreciate you subscribing here to the YouTube channel and clicking that bell notification, checking the links below. Feel free to request stuff too in the comments and uh, hope to see you again real soon. Take care. <laughs>